they're pulling the damn stuff down. That's the thing. They're creating censorship to prevent people from actually getting the facts. It's never been more obvious and more blatant. This has been going on all along, but now it's so in your face. And this is what they won't tell you because the media shuts all that information down. A lot of people just don't want to do this. It's one of the most terrifying concepts that has ever come into their mind. This should not be done. And this is what the cult doesn't want, because once you do this, now the dots are not dots anymore. We're at one of those most critical times right now. There is so much misinformation that has been fed to the American population, to the world population, and now it's time for us to realize that the divisions that have been created among us, old against young, rich against poor, Democrat against Republican, these are illusions created so that we're fighting so that we don't see the real danger. But the level of extent of how they've just jumped to this point, I think it's because they were getting desperate. When I say they, I don't know who they is. I know that there's somebody that's controlling this, and I think it's the globalists versus you know, the people that are interested in, in having sovereign rights. So it's not the tool, it's the idiot wielding the tool. That's the thing that we got to remember. So we have to, as a society, as a world society, start taking responsibility for our actions. And these things that are happening, these atrocities that are being committed in the name of safety, it's all to create more restrictions and control. And I think there's a higher, more suspect agenda than that, which comes down to population control. Those who are swayed by honeyed words to give up their freedoms, those that are not willing to fight belligerently and in a sustained manner to retain their freedoms will soon give up their rights to that freedom. And the eternal price of freedom is constant vigilance. Those are the things that we have to remember because at this time, especially in history, we need to have as many voices shouting the truth. And it's not your truth or my truth. It's the truth and letting people decide for themselves. They're pulling the damn stuff down. That's the thing. They're creating censorship to prevent people from actually getting the facts. It's just misinformation and part of misinformation. And then they're censoring everything out, just blocking it and saying, nope, there's no other information. This is it. If you're not willing to take what we're feeding you, then you're a conspiracy theorist. Well, then we'll just shut you down. We'll just shut down so you can't communicate. They're still controlled by the same puppet masters. And... So the information that we're getting is highly, highly filtered. It's censored. You can actually look at the news here in the United States and then you can be in a different country and you can see what true journalism is because they're actually reporting different things. It's never been more obvious and more blatant. This has been going on all along, but now it's so in your face that this is what you believe. This is the narrative. And if you deviate from that narrative, and that narrative's getting narrow all the time, then um, you're going to be silenced. In every way possible, you are going to be silenced for that. And then underpinning this all the way through your life is the media. It's basically repeating what you've been told to believe at school. And you have the government and the councils and the law enforcement, all of it, they're all coming from the same direction, insist basically that you believe what they want you to believe, otherwise you don't get the funding. But all it is, is a ramping up of something that's been going on all along, it's quietly and subtly, more subtly. But the perceptual programming is, is lifelong. And they want you out at the other end, still not knowing what you need to know to understand the life that you've just had. Once you disconnect five sense mind from an influence of expanded awareness. One of the things that happens is people fall into fear and they fall into basically lost identity. They fragment in their consciousness because they're fragmented in their self identity. The uh, five sense mind that they self identify with is only a fragment of their consciousness. And if you look at what's been happening, it's all systematic. When you see yourself in limited terms,
then you your consciousness is limited what you're accessing of your consciousness is limited because your self-identity is limited and one is a reflection of the other so as you redefine your self-identity that self-identity expansion automatically expands you into greater and greater swathes of consciousness because one is an expression of the other and this is what the cult doesn't want because once you do this now the dots are not dots anymore the pixels are not pixels anymore they're pictures they're patterns you can see how they connect and when you can see how they connect you see the world in a completely different way so they've set up an education system in which you focus at least five days a week through the day you're going from thing to thing to thing but they're all that and then they give you homework because they don't want you to have ponder time um, outside of the school so you get the homework the older you get the more homework you get the more exams you need to pass what is an examination it is testing the state of your programming what do they give people in education in university they give them degrees the same degrees which the secret societies are broken up into degrees of knowledge degrees of programming and so what they've now added on to that another addition this is why you know i feel so sorry for young people today you know they're the most perceptually targeted generation in human history because of all the technology and the technology now where's the ponder time you are focused in on educational day then have your homework and then the me time is overwhelming looking at the screen and what is a little screen except focus and, and so they are keeping the five senses stimulated all the time for as much as they can through childhood and then eventually it becomes becomes just a state you, you get locked into them and thus you start through your life to perceive everything only through them and you know your your roomies and people who have seen through this over the centuries they lived in very different worlds where this focus was not imposed as it is today so fiercely and constantly and incessantly on on, on the young when i look at how much people are distracted nobody's talking about this and all of the stuff with society all of the things the goals that we have the little chores that we do we're sort of running on the treadmill thinking we're actually getting somewhere and we're not you know so many people waste their lives with these incredibly inane activities which don't lead anywhere they might think they lead somewhere but all it really ultimately does is give them a bigger pile of stuff to sit on or give them more social status or more of this or more of that none of which actually means anything in regard to being a human being None of which means anything in regard to what it means to be a living life form, you know, a human living on this earth and what our relationship to this earth is. We can change it. Perhaps this is the time we do change it. So let's not lose that uh, insight at all. Let's not be defeatist about it. I mean, I'm not defeatist about it. I'm just prepared to face it. And that's what I'm finding with a lot of people is they're just not prepared to face it. And what they're not prepared to face is their own inner strength. Because if everybody stood in their own inner strength, we change the world in a day. It's really that simple. We just if we don't into this, whatever it is they're creating, well, hey, I'm prepared to bow out. I don't know how that happens. I mean, I don't know. I'll just face it without flinching because that's what infinity is. So I have no stake in the outcome of any of this. You know, I see it all as a huge opportunity and these opportunities should be embraced. But I'm not going to just count on that and, and sit there and live in hope and hope that someone's going to come and save me because it doesn't work like that we have to save ourselves and we have to each do it individually by simply standing up and say hey huh, i'm a man i've just remembered i'm a man woman i've just remembered i'm a woman i mean people just need to remember who and what they are and this is what i've been saying for so many years folks and that's the way out you know it's so simple so simple non-compliance simply standing in the power of yourself it is so simple that people can't see the forest for the trees because standing in that power and not having someone else come and save you but actually having to do it yourself by being yourself 
is one of the most terrifying things that people have ever faced. A lot of people just don't want to do this. It's one of the most terrifying concepts that has ever come into their mind. The fact that they are actually responsible for their own salvation, that they can change the direction of the world by simply participating in being human. The man who lies to himself and listens to his own lie comes to a point that he cannot distinguish the truth within him or around him, and so he loses all respect for himself and for others, and having no respect, he ceases to love.